it could get easily into the mix. Okay, all right. And, and, you, and you continue to stand behind the building? Okay, all right. Well, earlier this day, we asked all of you, you thought that Citigroup and the other big banks got off too easy for their roles in sparking the financial crisis. Here's what you told us. Uh, Bob brought in different Bob, don't worry. Uh, that the banks have not only gotten off easy, but have been handed profits on a silver platter via the Fed policy at the cost of taxpayers. Al says that they're all getting off too easy. Big banks, mortgage companies, past and present administrations, the Fed, and Congress, and all at the expense of you and your We are not showing a lot of optimism on that, a lot of tension to start off the new week. So where do we go from here? I think, Lori, it is uh, it's very difficult to pursue this on a weekly week basis. I would say that your audience should be watching to see if there is a permanent solution in Europe, first point. Second, I think Europe is already in a recession. I think the recession will extend into the first half of 2012. And so your investors should know that if that's the case, the contagion is going to come to the United States. So I think that's going to be the major factor leading to a U.S. economy going into a recession again. And once that happens, you're going to have lots of good, aggressive investment picks. Mm. Until then, Lori, they better stay very, very defensive. 320 seconds. Uh, what happens if this payroll tax cut doesn't get extended uh, by the end of the year? And of course, we know we're dealing with Congress, so most likely will not be extended. What happens? I mean, yeah, if it doesn't get extended, Chris, it's a two percentage point or so decrease in the disposable income of many income earners. That's going to be one more negative for consumption spending. So I hope they do pass it. Mm -hmm.